Okay, I'm glad this worked out. I just had a team meeting for my Magnolia team, and I said I got to be done in time to do my live on YouTube. So as you're hopping on, say hello in the chat. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy live crafting. And where'd you guys go here? Live chat. There we go. Yay. All right. Hello, Carlene and Pam. And I don't know who Verizon is. And Rita and Lori and Michelle. Welcome, welcome. Carlene, we missed you on the team meeting. We celebrated you hitting Innovator in March. I did record it, though. And we'll put the recording up after this. It is processing right now. All right, so we are here. We are, hey Marlene, just saw you. Hi Diana and Elisa. All right, so I have um, an announcement. If, especially if you're not on Facebook, you maybe don't know about this yet, but um, tomorrow night at midnight Eastern time, or Wednesday morning, if you'd rather wait. Uh, Magnolia is releasing a bunch of stencils from the vault. These are mainly faith and encouragement stencils, but also stencils that came in craft club kits that are not normally available to purchase. So there are a bunch of them, like 50, I think. There were like 52, I think. Right, Amy? There were, she did all the spreadsheet about it. Um, I want to show you some of those stencils so that if there are ones that you have seen me use in the past um, and you want them, you will be ready. Okay, 43. I was close to 50. You will be ready um, on my website tomorrow night at midnight or Wednesday morning, monarchmomdiy.com, to get these stencils. I have no clue how many are available of each of these stencils. I have them all in a pile here. There's a few that I don't have of the 43, but most of them I do have. So I'm just gonna start showing you real quick. And then what I want you guys to help me decide is which one I'm gonna do on this surface. This was from the wedding section at Hobby Lobby. It was like rules of marriage. You can see I sanded off the words that were there. We're gonna do a stencil on here tonight. But I'm going to show you, this 5x7 was a craft club stencil. It's kind of hard to see because I used ink. Those are flowers and butterflies. Life is good. This one is going to be available, which it was in a craft club. So not even creators could order this individually. So um, that one, let your light shine. I love this one. Work hard, pray harder. I'm going to go kind of fast. If you want to see a video that shows all of these, go to my Monarch Mom DIY Facebook page and I um, have a video that shows all the stencils that'll be available. A true story, God is good. I used this in a reel not that long ago and people were wanting it. So this one is gonna be available again tomorrow night at midnight. All right, now we're getting into some eight and a half by 11s. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Joshua 24, 15, being confident in this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Philippians 1, 6. I think it's just called be confident. Child of God. I love this stencil. I've used this one many times. Give us this day our daily bread. Hi, Stephanie. Stephanie, we had our team meeting and I did record it. So um, I will post the recording on our team page after uh, my live. Faith, family, freedom. So this is a patriotic one we've had in the past. It will not be, it, the fact that it's going to be in this pop-up uh, pop release tells me that it's not going to be in the summer catalog. So if you want this one, you want to start some patriotic uh, DIYs. I've used this one even just this bottom part. With the stars and the stripes, I've used it before. So, Faith Family Freedom. This is called Family Love. I love the big cursive family word. It's a great stencil. Begin each day with a grateful heart. It's an older one. 
He heals the brokenhearted. This is called He Heals and binds up their wounds. Psalm 147.3. Now this one, a lot of people have wanted. I used this one a ton when it was available. It is well with my soul. You have this gorgeous oval shaped wreath that you can use the whole stencil or just use the wreath and put other words inside. Okay. So I love that one. It is well with my soul. Joy comes in the morning. Psalm 30 verse five. This is a Christmas one. Even she will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus. Matthew 1 21. This one is called Proverbs 31. Now this is quads. These would be great for Mother's Day, okay? You can do, um, it's different verses from Proverbs 31. Let me put them in order real quick. Okay, she is far more precious than jewels. She is clothed with strength and dignity. The teaching of kindness is on her tongue. I love this one. Her children rise up and call her blessed. So this is called Proverbs 31. Fit perfectly on our square quad surfaces. Which one, Amy? Proverbs 31. Romans 5.8. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Love this one. The serenity prayer. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change courage to change the things I can and wisdom to know the difference. Serenity prayer will be available. This one's great too. Not all storms come to disrupt your life. Some come to clear your path. I think this one's going to go on, on a shirt. The Lord's Prayer. Someone was just asking me about this one the other day. I think it was even on YouTube. This one will be available again starting tomorrow night. This one as well, then sings my soul with the church. I love the little church. This one was a craft club stencil. Today is a good day to have a good day. Super cute. Woman of faith. Hebrews 11, 1. It's got some cool flowers on it. This one was a craft club stencil, and it's fall related. You can get started on some fall crafting. Thankful and blessed. Use the whole thing. Use just the words. Use just the pumpkins and leaves. Here's another fall one that's been, which, which the fact that this is in the sale tells me it's not going to be in the fall catalog. Grateful Hearts Gather Here. You got this awesome wreath with three pumpkins down here. Now we're getting into some bigger ones. This one is called Life Lessons. I love this one. Be kind. Have faith. Speak truth. Show grace. Stay humble. Be honest. Love others. You can do this whole stencil. I actually have this hanging in our kitchen next to the coffee maker um, in the little corner there. But you could even do uh, individual words from this stencil. Life lessons is what that's called. Okay, we're coming up now on probably... Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. I'm going to show you those two last. Okay, this was one of the first sunflower stencils we had. It's called Sunshine. I love, first of all, the big sunflower with the leaves. When you can't find the sunshine, be the sunshine. And then there's an adorable little bee on here as well. I'm going to get another one of these because I don't ever want to not have this sunflower. All right. Amazing Grace with the sheet music will be re-released this week. These last two stencils I'm going to show you are probably my favorite two craft club stencils. So remember, craft club stencils, you cannot buy normally individually. You buy your craft club, you get everything for the kit. The stencil is never on the website by itself. But this week, these two will be, and I'm super excited. Grow Happy Thoughts. I have a sweatshirt that I wear all the time. It's my gold colored one, my yellow one. I love these flowers. I've used the whole stencil. I've done it where I put the words above the flowers. I've used just the flowers. Grow happy thoughts. I don't know how many there are. So if you are wanting this stencil, go on my website tomorrow night at midnight. And the other one that I love just as much, shine like a sunflower. 
I love it. I love how the word sunflower is in the middle of the sunflower. This one is made to fit um, a smaller round, but you can put it on whatever you want. Okay, so, and then there's a few others that will be on the website that I do not have, um, like a bedtime prayer and one about um, somebody you love being in heaven, a marriage manifesto. They're all on a short little video on my Monarch Mom Facebook page. All right, so that was a lot. Now I have this surface, like I said, it was from the His and Hers wedding. I don't know if they're clearancing them out. I paid $4.49 for this, and all I had to do was just sand it a little bit in the middle, okay? What should we put on it? Um, I would love to make another one of these. However, my sign is not long enough for this. Okay. Um, it's not big enough for the wreath and I don't really, I'm not really ready for fall stuff. Um, Amazing Grace, it's a little too big for that. I could do sideways. We could probably do the fit the sunflower over there and maybe do without the bee or put the bee somewhere else and i'd have to slide the sunshine word over but we could fit this it would be a little more squished um we could do the sunshine so you guys are going to vote now sunshine or Grow happy thoughts and just, we'd have some space here or, or we could do it up and down and I don't know, put some ribbon or something or just have space there. Nothing bad about space or shine like a sunflower. I do have some ribbon, probably, like, I could do black and white gingham. So what do you guys think? Sunflower, happy thoughts, or sunshine? I wanted to do one that is not currently available, but will be available uh, starting this week. Wow, lots of votes for happy thoughts. Okay, so we're going to do this. What color background should we do? I already have my painter's tape all ready to go. Just because it was black. I mean, that would be cool on black, actually. With some lighter colors. Should we do a black background? Hi, Jennifer. Welcome. Okay, so we're going to do happy thoughts. Grow happy thoughts. Remember, this was a stencil in a craft club kit that you could not purchase individually normally, but you will be able to this week only till it's gone. I don't know how many there are, but I love this stencil so much. Okay, what color background? Should I paint it black like it was? And then we'll do, gosh, we'll have to do some really bright, like we could do the words in white and some light colored Okay, I'm seeing black. Okay, so while I'm painting this black, start thinking about what colors we're going to do the stencil. And I also want to make sure you guys know while I'm painting the background here that we have some new creator enrollment kits. In the past, We've done seasonal kits where like, okay, around Easter time, it had Easter stuff in it. Um, at Christmas time, you know, it have Christmas stuff. But we're going to go away from that. And our creator enrollment kits are an amazing value. You get a ton of stuff in them. You get your website fee for the first month. And the main thing you get when you sign up as a creator is you get 35% on all your personal purchases. 
Give me some hearts if you are on my team and you love that 35% discount. I know I do. And I'm always looking for people who either want to build a business or um, just sell maybe to a few friends, have some craft nights. Or if you just really want to try these products out and, um, you know, want to get a discount on your personal purchases. Yes, Sean and Barbara and, and Marlene and Amy. That's why she originally joined. So if you are interested in that, comment. Or better yet, send me an email at monarchmomdiy.com. Or you can just even go to my website, monarchmomdiy.com, and click on join, and you can see all the information, what comes in the kits, and all the benefits of being a creator. We were talking, we had a team meeting right before this, and getting super excited because um, it's time to register for our annual convention. And I just purchased my tickets the other night. Um, I know my mom is going, who's a creator on my team. Amy, who's on here. Um, I don't know if Marie and Lily are on, but I know they're planning on going. So it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. And that's one of those benefits of being a creator with Magnolia, you don't have to be at a certain level in order to go to the convention. Anybody can go who's a creator, which is awesome. All right, I'm just really trying to smooth this out to get it as um, spread as possible so I can dry it quickly. Get all my painter's tape off now. Pastel colors or bright colors. Ooh, yeah, we can. Well, we definitely have to do light, light colors or bright colors because otherwise it would not show up on this black. So I'm going to get my heating tool from Magnolia. How do you switch designers? Uh, oh, uh, it's not very easy to do. There has to be like a real reason, Jennifer. Um, uh, yeah, that's all I can say is there has to be like a... A reason that you're wanting to do that um, if you want to talk more about it let me know send me an email but sometimes too you have to wait <laughs> Amy uh. I did, and then I called her mom. Uh, I was gonna, I think, leave the frame that's the color that it is. That's a good question. Barbara, mom. I was planning on just leaving the frame. Unless when I do the stencil, I decide it needs to have a different color. I love how fast this heating gun, I mean heating tool, dries the paint. Sometimes I have to be careful to not get it too close because it'll actually like bubble the paint. Little spot right there. It does have two different speeds if you need to lower one. Yep, see it's starting to bubble the paint. I must have just gotten it a little thick right there. No worries because when I paint a surface that I'm going to stencil on, hello Samantha. All right, I get a 400 grit sandpaper. Ooh, I'm going to have to order some more 400. And I use my little handy dandy sander here. And I smooth out my surface that I just painted so that my stencil is going to lay nice and flat. Because with an adhesive stencil, that's how you get a great 
image from your stencil is by making sure that it lays down really flat with the adhesive. And in the description of this video, um, it says all my links, and it's a link tree. My Amazon storefront is there. That's where I have this. I use it probably every time I craft. All right. Trying to get all that dust off. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, here's the next question. Are we doing this? I think I want to do it. I think I want to do it horizontally. What do you guys think? The hanger is actually on here to do it vertically. But I'm kind of wanting to do it I think I want to do it like this, just to be different. Oh, thank you, Carlene. All right, our background is ready, but I want to make some space. I need to get rid of my paint. I need to get my tacky towel to fuzz my stencil. I need to get a sip of my coffee. Okay, and Let's put the stencil on and then we're gonna decide what what colors we want. And I'm gonna do something because it's just a little tiny bit too big to fit in here and it keeps getting stuck. So I'm actually gonna take my stencil and I'm gonna trim a tiny little bit off of it. Ta-da! I just trimmed this off my stencil. I don't need it. And now it's gonna fit a little bit easier in here. Oh yeah, that's so nice. Okay, another thing I wanna do because this will probably end up in my craft show. I want to find where the middle is of my space here. Okay, it's 15 and a quarter. If I go all the way across the frame, it's 16 and a quarter, so that would be eight and an eighth. Where's my pencil? Use this little chalk marker, chalk crayon thing. All right, I just wanna put a little dot where the halfway is so I can line up my stencil. I'm also gonna fold my stencil in half and crease it so that there's a little crease there and I can line that crease up with that dot that I just made right there. Okay, so you're getting all my tips and tricks. Thank you, this is one of our stencils. Great is thy faithfulness, currently available. And I just used white ink to put it on this amazingly soft hoodie from Costco. All right get our stencil on and then we will decide what colors so if you've never seen our stencils before they are a reusable adhesive mesh stencil so wherever you see green on the back is sticky the mesh is really really teeny holes it's kind of like a silk screen that our chalk paste is going to go through the stencil onto our surface. <clears throat> so we put a little bit of fuzz on especially brand new stencils so that it doesn't stick so much that we have to, that it stretches out of shape. Okay. Another thing I'm going to, another tip, you're getting all the tips. Another tip I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these little stir sticks Hold on, I got some stuff sticking to the back of my stencil. And I'm gonna put it under the corner because my stencil is 
smaller than my entire surface. Oh, we're getting, we're getting some uh, color recommendations. And that way, um, I'll be able to pull that up to help me get my stencil up. All right, I'm lining up that little crease with my dot. And now I'm just going to press, press, press my stencil down. Oh, this is going to be so beautiful. Okay, so there we are. See, you can see I've got this here so that I'll easily be able to remove my stencil. All right, we have five flowers. We have the words grow happy thoughts. I'm seeing pink, lavender, yellow for the flowers, white for the words. Um, I think I might need to throw some blue ice in there. And what about our leaves? Probably magnolia green, our signature color for the stems and the leaves. All right, we've got baby pink or French rose. Baby pink or French rose. Daffodil yellow. Purple lace. So maybe the darker pink, baby, baby, French, 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 baby, baby, French. What about both? One, two, three, four, five. I can use two pinks. All right. I, I just won't put them right next to each other. Okay. Here's our flower colors. How's that look? Maybe like that. Like that. Okay. So we'll do our flowers in these colors. I'm going to get all my chalk pastes ready so that I can go quick. Baby pink, so pretty. Then we'll do daffodil, gorgeous. Then we'll do purple. Lace, this one needs my water. This one needs a little bit of water. So if your chalk paste start to get kind of dry, you spritz some distilled water in there. Give it a good stir. And chalk paste reconstitutes with water. You want to use clean water. So distilled water, not sink water. You do not want to grow a science experiment. And if you get some up here that's kind of, I haven't used this color in a while. All right, it's a little better. I have not been doing my monthly paste maintenance like I need to. All right, that's better. And then baby pink, so pretty. How we doing? The paste holder, I made this. This is Dollar Tree crates glued together. It's the ones that do not have the hole. So they're a little bit bigger. I can fit three pastes in each crate. It's awesome. And um, and then I have them sitting on a like a turntable lazy Susan type of thing. Okay, who is Verizon? What's your name? I'm sure I know you, but I, it just says Verizon. All right, and blue eyes. Ooh, these are gonna be so pretty. And then of course, we have our beautiful Magnolia Green signature color for our leaves. Now I'm gonna need paper squeegees because we've got colors 
that are pretty close together. And we said white for the words, right? That'll be awesome. Okay, so here's the fun part. I'm going to move this so you can hopefully see all of it. Hi, Casey. All right. Okay, what is it made out of? Uh, yeah, the Dollar Tree, the Dollar Tree wood crates. All right, let's get started. We're going to start with a baby pink on this flower. So like I said, this is like a silk screen process. I'm basically using a squeegee to take the color over the mesh and pressing it into, into that space. Okay, now I'm gonna move, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a baby wipe so I can clean this off a little bit between colors. Oops, except I pulled too hard, there we go. Oh, hey, Martha. All right, let's do yellow, daffodil yellow for our next flower. And this one actually has multiple flowers on the stem. Okay. All right, next is purple lace. And that one's got extra leaves under. Okay. Next one is going to be baby pink and this has some small little flowers. You could do another color on the inside if you wanted on some of these flowers. I'm not going to do that on this. Pretty. And blue ice for our last flower. Now some of you are watching this going, oh my goodness, that all she's doing is like slapping some color on there. And it's true. If you can spread butter on a piece of toast, um, if you can... Yeah, pretty much that's, if you can do that, you can use these stencils and create gorgeous artwork. Okay, now I'm using my Magnolia Green for all the stems and leaves. These are called paintbrush squeegees, which basically are mini squeegees with a paintbrush handle and they're amazing. Ask anyone who stunts. Now, I don't use them all the time because sometimes I'm just doing like all one color and I don't need something like this. But when you're doing multiple colors like this, um, it is very handy to have the paintbrush squeegees. Okay, two more and then we're down to the words. I'll show you show you a regular squeegee when I do the words. Hmm. 
I think I got it. Thank you, Alyssa. Okay, so the stencil is from my Magnolia website, which is monarchmomdiy.com. It is not currently available because it's actually a craft club stencil, but it will be available for a limited time starting tomorrow night at midnight. This is a regular squeegee that I'm going to use for the words. Grow happy thoughts. Okay. Now, I'm going to lift slowly because if there's some that I need to go back and do more chalk paste, I can lay it back down, but I think I did pretty good. Can you guys see that? Oh, I love, love, love this. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? You guys picked some awesome colors. I love that. Grow happy thoughts. Who wants this stencil? Now, what do you think about the frame? I think I can just keep it this color. Don't you think it's light enough? I think it's light enough. Thank you, Martha. Welcome. Mm-hmm. Now, um, if you want to start out and you don't want to buy full containers of each color, we have sample packet sets, um, and I'm pretty sure colors very similar to these are in the spring uh, sample packet set. I know you would get white and probably magnolia green. I would have to go on the website right now to actually see what colors are on it. Did I just put the wrong word on there? Nope. Okay. Um... But that's really nice because then you can try something with multiple colors. And um, and see if you like it. Holly, you need to contact. Uh, what's Holly's question? Oh, in early March. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Holly, I can look that up for you. Um, if your payment went through, then you should have gotten an email that it shipped. All right, so that is our project for today. Don't forget, if you want to see all of the stencils that are going to be released from the vault this week, either tomorrow night at midnight or Wednesday morning, you can go to my Facebook page, Monarch Mom DIY. And there's a little video that I posted last night that just scrolls through all the stencils that are going to be available. Yes. And so the colors again are French Rose, Daffodil, Purple Lace, Baby Pink, and Blue Ice. And then the green is Magnolia Green. And this is obviously Brilliant White. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Send me an email um, or a message if you have questions about the uh, creator enrollment, whether to build a business or to simply get the 35% discount on all of your personal supply orders. It's awesome. I love this company. I've been with them now for about two and a half years, and I'm so glad. I would make the same decision over and over again every time. So thanks so much, everybody. 
I'm gonna go watch a basketball game now. There's a little there's a little basketball game on tonight. A couple teams, college teams, battling it out for the championship, and uh, should be a good game. So thank you so much. I will have a new YouTube video tomorrow night, Tuesday, and then I will be alive again. Uh, be alive. I will be live again Wednesday night. Um, with some more crafting, probably with one of the other stencils that is being re-released this week. Take care, everybody.